In this video, I will demonstrate how to make changes to the appearance of text in the SIL App Builder um, applications. In this instance, I'll be using Reading App Builder, but the same holds true for Scripture App Builder and Dictionary App Builder. It's important to know that we are not making changes to the underlying text, just the way uh, the text is presented in the app. So uh, in this particular instance, I'm making a songbook. And you can see this is song one of this particular songbook. And this is the text, mostly as it's given to me. If I go to changes, you will see I've already got one change applied. I'll just demonstrate this. I'm going to turn this off and go back. And now you will see those pound signs. I go back to changes and take them off, turn it on, go back, and the pound signs are gone, and there's some spacing. If we go look to changes, double click on this, you will see that it was basically finding the pound and replace it with uh, Unicode value 2001, which is a, a double space, uh, EM quad space. So and why am I doing this? It's an excellent question. And this is the source file that was given to me. It's actually cleaned up quite a bit. It actually had chord notes, which were not useful for the app. So we were able to clean those out, but the, the file still came with the pound signs. So I'm using the pound signs to know where to put the squad spacing because the, the, the end users, they want the spacing, the, the consistent spacing in the phrasing. Um, as a side note, you can also see where we are putting the SFN markers so that the reading app builder knows how to format the text um, when it's in view. And we'll, we'll demonstrate that in a little bit. And in a later video, we'll talk all about SFM, but I'm working on these changes now, so I thought I would demonstrate it. Okay. so. Um, as was demonstrated, as explained to me by the local community, this file was actually created quite some time ago, and they have undergone a kind of minor to the outsider um, orthography change involving two character sets. This this one right here, and there's another one down here that um, I couldn't identify for you because I don't read the language. But um, I've got I've applied changes, so um, I've, I've come into uh, the changes area in the app, click on this change, and you can see I am changing. Well, the, the characters don't come through up here because it's not reading, the, the, not the font applied. But if I click find Unicode value 0, 0E81, followed by or with 0ECC, replace it with 0EDE. Um, there will be links to Unicode and more about that in, 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 the, in the notes at the bottom of the, in the thing. Uh, an example, and if you go into Word, some of you should know this or know this. So if you have a character, you want to figure out what the Unicode value is. Word and uh, Libre, LibreOffice Writer will do this as well. You hit Alt-X, and you can see the Unicode value. i uh, get back here. Alt-X. So I do Alt-X. Alt-X. 0EAD, 0ECC. Um, and that gives you, tells you what these things are. And this is 0EDEF. You can also, interestingly, you can type, this is the change I want to make, 0EDE, Alt X. And this is what it's supposed to be, 0EDE. So 0ECC, 0EDAD. So actually, if I, I, if I had prepped this properly, you would see this should have been, so you can see changing this. We're going to make this file, this character set, become this character on its own. And then this one, 0E81. 0ECC. Now we're turning these two into this one. That's the orthography change. They have a font, an older font that made this for them, made this happen for them. But now that this character is in Unicode, it's better to do it this way. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to come back to our changes and I'm going to apply this change. I oh, hit the OK. Oh, I should demonstrate. So the way you do find and replace here, you can actually do, like I did in this example, the actual value, the character, the pound, um, but I'm applying the, 
the Unicode value. So zero Unicode zero E eight one followed by Unicode zero E C C gets replaced with Unicode E zero E D E. The OK button. And this one is refined zero E eight D replaced with zero E C C or sorry find zero E eight D followed by zero E C C replaced with zero E D F. The OK button apply. And now, you, if you were quick enough, you saw the change. So um, if I can pull up that notepad file, you can see this character set, because this is the song, has become this one. Get back here. That is an example of changes. Again, if I were to um, just demonstrate that the change is working, turn all of these off, come back, look at the file, and you can see that in all instances of those changes have been removed. Go to changes and come here. Now, the way this ideally will be done and the way that I'm going to handle this ultimately is I'm going to take, I'm going to generate a converter file that will take the source file, make the changes in the source file so that the source file, at least for these Unicode values, I'll leave the pound sign there. These Unicode values represent what they should be going forward so that any new font can read them. But I just wanted to quickly demonstrate how to the changes feature in the App Builder tools can work. Um, again, this applies to Reading App Builder, Scripture App Builder, and Dictionary App Builder. Thank you.